removing the gifts temporarily because this guy's reaction is so funny that we need to see it. I want it, I want you to notice how this how much this guy overacts. I'm sorry, just watch, okay? I need you to watch. I need you to see how much this motherfucker overacts. Yeah, you want to zoom in? Can we do the zoom? Here we go. Let's let's roll back and let's get the close up, shall we? Of how overacted this will be. Another prepared content before. Acknowledge neo pronouns. Is this to me? I don't have any moral obligation to to respect neo pronouns. Correct. What? That is correct. Who, who, what do you? Mean? Who cares about moral obligation? <laughs> about laws who cares about fucking laws morals? Wait, who what? said anything about laws what hold on a second wait a second who said the fuck anything about morals and laws what are you fucking talking about bro say something so stupid you can't okay just sorry i should synthesize this because there's actually been a lot of people who have made this statement all right let me synthesize this you cannot call somebody transphobic or hold on oh he's gonna give his take oh we are getting gifted tonight imps i want you to recognize I want you to recognize how gifted we are tonight. How blessed we have been. The content gods are smiling upon us because we have done well. Just listen. This is going to be incredible. Just listen up. Doing something that they are not morally obligated to do. That is true. And the reason why is because if I'm not morally obligated, or at least in this regard, if I'm not morally obligated to do this, Right? But you consider it transphobic, then you just don't consider transphobia something that we are morally obligated to avoid. So I don't have to care. Okay. Let me, let me get this back. Hold on. Let's try. I want to be, I want to do the best that I can do here to try and understand what the fuck is being said there. Can we try that again? Okay. I'm going to take a note. I'm going to transcribe this. We've done this a couple times. I like to do this. Let's transcribe this. If I'm not morally obligated to do this, right, but you consider it transphobic, then you just don't consider transphobia okay. something that we are- Hold on. If I'm not morally obligated to do, to do this, but you consider that transphobia, you just- Hold on, I want to make sure I hear it correctly, and then we can look it over together, okay? Obligated- or at least in this regard. If I'm not morally obligated this, because there's actually been a lot of people who have made this statement. All right, let me synthesize this. You cannot call somebody transphobic for doing something that they are not morally obligated to do. That is true. And the reason why Wait, is because... So if the I'm argument is you cannot call someone transphobic if they are not morally obligated to be not transphobic okay so you cannot call someone transphobic if they are not morally obligated to be transphobic okay let's continue let's continue not morally obligated or at least in this regard if i'm not morally obligated to do this i'm not morally obligated right? to do this but you consider it transphobic then you, you consider it transphobic hold on i want to get it just right I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I want to make sure we got this right. Okay, hold on, hold on. Be bear with me, everybody. You just don't consider transphobia something that we are morally obligated to avoid. So I don't have to care, right? If you believe transphobia is bad, then you ought morally obligate people to not okay. be transphobic. Simple. Okay, 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 okay. If I'm not morally obligated to do this, but you consider it transphobic, you just don't consider transphobia something we're morally obligated to avoid. So I don't have to care. Okay. Um, I just want everyone to just recognize that that is what we call word salad. Okay? That's fucking word salad. Alright? He's saying, if you don't, if mommy doesn't tell me not to be transphobic, then I have no reason not to be transphobic. I think I've learned how to speak his language. Okay? And here we go. I'm going to make a declaration to our relevant once and for all. As you can see, we also have our honorary vouch ban. Okay? Here's the thing. Demon Mama, 
wants you to stop being transphobic. It's bad, okay? Don't be transphobic, okay? It's really bad. It really hurts people's feelings. I'm serious about that. What you're looking for is somebody to tell you what to do. So I'm going to take my take it upon myself to tell you that, okay? This is mama's law. Don't be transphobic. Please. It's not good. Okay, let's continue. Right? Gifts back. Right? I think that we should be morally obligated to not be racist. Right? Therefore, I can criticize people for being racist. However, if I do not believe that we are morally obligated to... Irrelevance word salad was basically this, right? Hold on, let's see. There is no God, right, Mama? True. So how do I know what's right or wrong? Well, it's up to you, Tyler. Evolution does away with morals. Wow, anything goes? I can lie, cheat? What's to keep me from becoming a god? What's to keep me from becoming a god? What's to keep me from becoming a god, says Tyler. True! If there's no God to tell you what not to do, how could you think you need some big person to tell you what's wrong? This is very silly. True, true. This is so silly. Oh my God. I mean, I appreciate that, but come on. But come on. I, look, I appreciate when somebody tells me, Mama, I want you to make all the rules for my life. Mama, I want you to tell me what to do. Mama, I want you to completely dominate me in every single way I can imagine. I love that. But just be out and say it. Just fucking be out and say it. You don't got to do all this fucking fake philosophy shit. Just say it. If you want somebody else to make your decisions for you, just own it. Just fucking own it. All right, let's continue. To not be racist and you're racist, then who cares? You have no moral obligation to not be racist. I can't condemn you for that. The Wait. only things that we can condemn people for, i.e. call them Gifts bad back. for, are the things that we believe are moral obligations. We can say it's not... So the only thing that we can condemn people for are things that we think are moral obligations. Hmm. Is that true? I feel like you can condemn people for things that they might be doing wrong by accident. I think you can condemn people... For stuff that they might be doing wrong neglectfully, but not maliciously. So what? D Destiny Orbiters with the big bratty sub energy? Well, there's a reason why they're a Destiny Orbiter, right? Come on, everybody. Not to get all, you know, not to get all BDSM psych on you. You know, just like, let's, let's be real about this. There's a reason why they're Orbiters. Yeah? Yeah, we know. Come on, let's be real. Let's be fucking real here. Can we be 100% real? I don't think it's morally obligatory to not insult people, but I can morally impugn people for insulting people based on the circumstance. Yeah, exactly. Capo says the shopping cart thing comes up. You do not have a moral obligation to return your shopping cart. You can still be condemned for failing to do it. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think like, like if when I go to the grocery store and I'm like, Fawn, go take the grocery, go take the grocery cart back. And Fawn's like, oops, I forgot. I don't think, like, Fawn did, like, a moral wrong. But I think Fawn could have done better at returning the cart, right? I'm 99% sure the statement he just made 100% co contradicts his takes about Hassan. Well, I guess we're going to find out. I guess we're going to find out. You do. It, I, I, that was a hypothetical. I want you all to know. I don't want to besmirch Fawn's name. Fawn is very good about taking the, the cart back. You're very good about taking the cart back. Mwah. Mwah. You're so good about taking the cart back. Look at that. Xbox Mama has blessed you. Xbox Mama has Roblox you. Let's continue. The mole? Hi, Rain Cloud. It's not an optimal thing to do, but without a moral obligation, you cannot condemn an individual for, uh, um, for that action. It's. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Not everyone is a moralist. Not everyone believes that you need to have like a, a, a god with a rule book that tells you that. There are other ways by which you can condemn someone that aren't necessarily moral in nature. You can condemn someone being in a, like doing something ineffectively. You can condemn someone, again, like I said, for doing neglectfully. What the hell? This is so strange. Yeah, this is straight up church shit. This is like Christian shit. 100%. 
this is basically if if you don't have a god to tell you what to do how will you know what to do what's right it really does seem like this guy wants to be religious without the social baggage well that is the argument that's being made here the argument the moral argument that's being made here is that you must have a a specific moral claim in order to ever critique someone it can't be on any other grounds it can't be on all kinds of things you left three hours ago and uh polaire says i left three hours ago and i came back to this majesty wow i love this stream so much i love this stream too i fucking love streaming y'all know that i fucking love streaming it's great even off even with all the fucking headaches actually the headaches really do make it hard but i love streaming okay let's continue i made my point let's go it's just that's how logic works you know if i cannot op that's how logic works no no that's what do you what that feels very i'm sorry i'm sorry that is an I, I don't know what he's saying there i don't know how to follow that that's just like that's how god that's what god says that's what lo, that's how logic works what do you mean by that what do you mean by that's how logic works logic apparently dictates that you must the only reason you could ever condemn anyone for anything would be because or criticize anyone for anything is because of a moral claim i don't i don't know this feels like a very weird am i wrong in saying this feels like a very weird way to approach this like even even for people who are who argue in a particular way doesn't this feel very strange like a very strange way to approach the question of of misgendering like misgendering is a matter of mutual respect like, it doesn't have to be some sort of moral law thing. It doesn't have to be in the Ten Commandments or the Constitution for you to recognize, hey, people have different conceptions of gender. I have my own conception of gender that's probably imperfect, and I should respect other people's autonomy to interpret gender how they please. Is that not... Is that illogical? I don't get this. This is very strange. Let's continue, I guess obligate somebody to act within a certain criteria i cannot condemn them for not acting within that certain criteria because there's no obligation to work, work within it right why does there have to be never make a more why does there have to be an obligation like i don't understand what you mean by obligation here yeah what is a give this guy some business cards it sounds like fucking american psycho shit yeah i'm confused here i just i'm, I'm struggling i'm really struggling to understand what the fuck is is being said here i'm gonna rewind this because i i don't understand his argument for that action it's it's just that's how logic works you know if i cannot obligate somebody to act within a certain criteria if i, I cannot, cannot if i cannot them obligate so if you mean if what he means is he if you can't coerce someone essentially because obligate means like they have to do it on threat of something right so if you cannot coerce someone then you can't morally impugn them i feel like that's very strange this is this feels this just feels very um over complicated is what it is i don't understand i don't i feel like this is very rigid a very rigid way of interpreting things I recognize that by some means you could say something like I like I recognize there are Christians who believe that things are wrong because God the only moral agent God being the only moral agent has declared that it's wrong yeah loser <laughs> okay Greg Danko loser Patrick Bateman Bateman and not even handsome oh my god <laughs> holy shit brutal <laughs> oh my god okay Whew. All right, let's continue with this. Okay, I, I don't want to dwell on every point for so long or else it's going to take us all night to get through this. And I've already been streaming for fucking eight hours. <laughs> Not acting within that certain criteria because there's no obligation to wor work within it, right? For instance, I would never make a moral obligation that you have to high five somebody in public who says, yeah, do you want to high five me? No, you have no moral obligation to do that. Okay. So what? Like, what does this mean? So you wouldn't morally obligate someone to high five? Congratulations, nobody does. Like no I don't think I can't imagine anybody who does that. Although there are things that we consider to be rude or not rude, right? Like if somebody says, for example, let me give you let me give you an example of this. If somebody says hello to you 
it's considered customary to say hello back. And that's not like a moral, that's not a mo an issue of morality necessarily. It's an issue of social decorum. So I feel like this is a very rigid way of viewing the world. That everything must be interpreted as a matter of of moral Im like moral imperative. I mean, I don't know. I think some like social things would would borderline moral. Like for example, um, like ignoring a friend is generally con well, no, so even that doesn't reach the level of moral. I don't know. Let's continue. Do you have a moral obligation to use somebody's uh, pronouns, right, in regards to he, she, um, he, you know, he, him, she, her, they, them, right, and shit like that? Yeah, yes, I think you okay. do. Now, Zimzer, Turt, Turt, Bun, Bun, Self, no, I don't believe you do. Okay, so here he states that he, he does believe you have a moral obligation to recognize he, him, she, her, they, them, but not... It, it's, Zezer, or uh, Bun Bun. Hmm. I'm interested to understand his reasoning here. Why would you be morally obligated to recognize he, he, he and him, she and her, and they and them, but not it, it's? I, hmm. Hmm. I do believe you do. Didn't I tell you this to... was going to be a treat, everybody? Didn't I tell you this one was going to be a fucking mind bender? I feel like I'm I feel like I'm uh playing uh, like I don't know. This is fucking weird. This is a weird experience. Anyway, let's continue. To uh they them, she her or um even even potentially uh just using their name and rejecting pronouns in general. Um, I don't think you should get super upset about they them uh, being used. I believe in they them as a universal thing, but I I believe in they them as a universal thing. Well, first of all, that's assuming a straw man. That's assuming there are people upset about they them being used, and it is true there are some people. Um, but also, isn't that very contextual? Isn't that very contextual? Right? Like, I don't think it's very common um, for people to get mad about they them being used like i don't know anybody who would be mad not even me usually when people are complaining about it it's when it's being used aggressively like when you say hi uh my pronouns are she her and then somebody refuses to use she her isn't that like if we're charitable to this straw man that's being constructed isn't that usually the circumstance we're talking about? That there is a contextual issue? Not just that somebody, like, the idea, this myth that, like, trans people freak out whenever somebody doesn't use the right pronoun is totally wrong. People use the wrong pronouns by accident for me all the time, and I don't give a shit. Sometimes I get a little sad if it's, like, a particularly bad example that doesn't feel affirming or whatever. But, like... I've never freaked out at anybody except for when somebody literally was aggressively misgendering me and making weird faces at me. That's the only time I've ever freaked out on somebody. And I didn't even freak out. I was like, dude, what the fuck's your problem? That's all I said. So this is like a myth and a turbo straw man. And if I might say, doesn't this feel, look, I'm not going to go all the way there, but tell me if I'm wrong in saying, doesn't this, this stereotype feel a little bit transphobic? Like genuinely? Doesn't the stereotype of, like, the the screeching SJW uh, uh, freaking out over pronouns feel a little bit transphobic? Like, is that not, like, literally the alt-right stereotype of it? Am I wrong here? Am I wrong here? Tell me if I'm fucking wrong here. This is just literally anti-SJW shit. Right? Anyway, let's continue. <clears throat> could 100% see the argument that, like, somebody doesn't want any pronouns for them at all, and they prefer their name to just be as, like, a pseudo-pronoun. Um, yeah, I think all of those are viable. That's fine. And what have you. I think all of those are fine. Oh. I'm lost now. Like, first of all, I don't know why people... What about mom? Or do you... Okay, these are the only, the only pronouns 
that I consider actually respectable, and let me go into why I consider them respectable. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The only pronouns I consider actually respectable. Remember this language, chat, okay? Actually, guys, I gotta do something, okay? I have to turn the gifts off because this is becoming a very educational se segment. We have to. Let's rewind and listen to this again. This is going to be super educational, okay? We're doing this together. Their name to just be as like a pseudo pronoun. Um, yeah, I think all of those are viable. That's fine. And what have you. I think all of those are fine. Like, first of all, I don't know why people- What about mom? Okay, these are the only, the only pronouns that I consider actually respectable, and let me go into why I consider them respectable, and why I generate a moral obligation, because I guess this is how we're going to do it, right? He, him, she, her, they, them, and your name. Those are the only ones. And the reason why is because they're historical precedent around the bimodal distribution of gender. So he's a gender essentialist. That's what he's saying in so many words. He's saying he's a gender essentialist. That is a lot of words to say you're a gender essentialist. Okay? Listen to this again. And we and I want I just want I want this to be in the record because these people constantly say that they're not what they say they are. Very very weaselly. So I just want you to pay attention, listen to Xbox Mama for one second as we replay this yet again. Um yeah, I think all of those are viable. That's fine. And what have you? I think all of those are fine. All right. Like first of all, I don't know why people What about Mom? Okay. These are the only the only pronouns that I consider actually respectable, and let me go into why I consider them respectable, and why I generate a moral obligation, because I guess this is how we're going to do it, right? He, him, she, her, they, them, and your name. Those are the only ones. And the reason why is because there's historical precedent around the bimodal distribution of gender being upheld in today's society. That's the reason why. That is because we did it before. That is literally the argument he just made. I am sorry, there is no other way around it. There is no way to slice it. Those words mean the reason why you have a moral obligation to respect she, her, he, him, they, them, and your name is because of tradition. That is an a, by definition, an appeal to, tra tra tradition, to tradition. My goodness, I'm stumbling over that word. And also, this is the same person who freaked out on Doe for making an appeal to history and also shouted at Vosh for making an appeal to history. But the core of his argument as to why he doesn't support neo-pronouns and any pronoun other than he, him, she, her, and they, them is an appeal to tradition. Do you guys see why I get so motherfucking tired about this? Do you see why this shit drives me so fucking crazy? Do you understand why I lose my mind at this shit? This is just, this is just gender essentialism. It is different words for the exact same thing. They will not own up to their position. That is what it is. If you believe that the only people that you have to respect are a predetermined binary, or you can use the word bimodal that you borrowed from Vosh because you don't want to get called out on that. You can say bimodal, which that doesn't even make sense because a bimodal structure acknowledges there is no binary. So why would you only have three pronouns ever? His argument is a mess. It is a mental mess. It is thought salad. Do you understand? This argument we are witnessing is fucking thought salad. Oh my motherfucking god. And this is this is the shit that they tell you, "Oh yeah, I'm for the left. Yeah, I'm 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 not a transmedicalist. I'm not a gender essentialist." And then they make an argument that says that you do not have to respect anyone's gender unless it falls into a gender that has a historical precedent based on the bimodal binary version of gender. And we already know that there were ne neo pronouns that went way back in time. This is just, he's being historically illiterate and then ultimately making an appeal to a false history. And the bimodal thing doesn't make sense because he's denying, he's denying, he's shooting a hole in his own argument by saying bimodal. He's borrowing the concept, the bimodal thing from Vosh without understanding what it says. A bimodal system 
means that there are two tendencies. It's not a binary. There are two tendencies that people tend to cluster towards, but it acknowledges that there are people everywhere else. Can I draw this? Like, can I, can I draw what I'm talking about? I can now. Watch, okay? This is what a bimodal structure looks like, okay? Here we go. Here's the two little loose poles and neither of them are hard lines. That's why it's bimodal. And there is a cluster of people around here and a cluster around here. And then there's people all the fuck over the place. But the most people tend to be right here and everybody else tends to be kind of distributed else. But there's lots and lots of people around these two poles. And in this particular context, we're talking about feminine and masculine. Or perhaps if you really want to mess it up, uh you know, female and male, if you really want to go back to sex, which is what is basically going to be happening here, which is what we're going to see. It's two overlapping distributions. Do you understand what I'm saying? So what our relevant has done here is that he has completely misunderstood the thing that he is quoting. He has attempted to act as though he understands the concept. And then he has completely shot his own argument in the foot. Okay. Everybody in chat, did that make sense? Did that make sense to everybody in chat? I just want to be clear. Did the people who heard that, did that make sense to you? Yeah, everybody's up late. It's fucking 11. But that's how I am. I'm a night owl. Always have been. Okay, so people fucking get this. Okay, people get this. This is not hard to understand. Yeah, we had to turn off the gifts for a bit because this was blowing up my brain. Let's continue. Okay, so the comparison I love to make and I, I actually do make inside of all of my conversations about gender is Okay, what about like? People that say that they're a fan of Batman as their identifier Would you say that I'm being like the equivalent of transphobic but against somebody who identifies as a fan of Batman if They've never heard of Batman and they just like the name of Batman. They just like they for the very first time I've ever heard of Batman they're like I'm a fan of Batman just cuz they like what the fuck this is straight up boomer shit this is just boomer nonsense i cannot parse this i literally cannot parse this i do not know what's being said here i cannot understand this something about batman and never having seen batman and this being equivalent to transphobia what the way that it sounds do you think me calling them a fake fan is the same level of morally bad as um and morally repugnant as transphobia the answer is no the question is why what? why not wait the answer is no so he first he answers for you secondly what I'm den in both situations, I'm de denying somebody's identity. I'm denying your identity as being a fan of Batman. I'm denying your identity as, let's say, being a trans woman. I'm genuinely confused. I, I don't think I don't think I can follow this. Like, I'm, I'm trying to follow this, but I don't actually know what's being said. So what he's trying to say is. If somebody says, I'm a fan of the Seahawks, and you say, no, you're not, you're a fake fan, that's the same as transphobia in his mind? He's doing the Seattle Seahawks analogy, but with Batman. Okay, but hold on. This is not even, this doesn't make any sense. While it is true, it is possible that somebody's fan, like fanhood of the Seattle Seahawks could be incredibly emotionally important. We recognize, see, this is the problem with the moral obligation shit, because it's not about, a, it's not, an, it's, this is not a moral issue. This is not a matter of, I mean, you could consider it a moral issue, but I don't think it's helpful to consider it a moral issue. It's a social issue. This is an emotional issue between two people. If somebody says, I'm a huge fan of the Seahawks and your reaction is, no, you're not, you're a fake fan. That might hurt their feelings. It's probably not, uh, useful to do that in 99.9% .9 of circumstances unless you just want to cause pain to somebody. But people tend to be significantly less emotionally invested in their uh, fandom than they do their conception of self. Even when there is some overlap there. Because yes, there are people whose conception of self, self does overlap with being a part of a fandom. 
But when we're talking about gender, we're talking about a very base level conception of self, who you are, where you fit in in society, how you express yourself, what your role is. That's why it's emotionally important. That's why we respect people on gender because it's emotionally important to them and we recognize that we live in a better world when we respect each other's gender preferences because we can't really know what's in somebody's head. We can't understand every single other person's conceptualization of the world perfectly. So instead of imposing our own on somebody else, we allow them to set their own and we respect that. Is this not, is this an incoherent point? Like, am I, do I feel like, I feel like this is an absurd way to engage with gender. It sounds exactly like how Christians engage with gender. Which is that the way we've done it is male and female as given to us by God. I don't have to respect any of your, you know, insert, uh, insert, you know, satanic, insert way of the world, worldly, insert any thing there. Uh, gender bullshit, basically, is exactly what's being said here. It's saying that I don't have, because of a historical precedent, I don't have a moral obligation to treat you with respect. I think this is a weird way to engage with gender. Let's keep going. What's the, what's the problem? It's the material conditions. It's the material historical conditions that matters, right? Not being denied as being seen as a woman has cascading life effects over the way that you view yourself, the way that everybody views you, your interactions with how you interact with the world and the world interacts with you. Everything. Everything. Same is not said for being a fan of like Batman. Same cannot be okay. said. Same cannot be said for you identifying as a turtle. Wait, yeah. This is, again, incoherent. No one has said that there is an equal emotional... Im that was a, 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 an unbelievable jump in logic. Yeah, exactly. That was an unbelievable jump in logic. So he almost had it. Yes, it is extremely painful to be misgendered. When you state, I am a woman, and somebody says, no, you are not. That is... Somebody laying hands on your agency, on your self-identity, which is an uncomfortable experience for humans. This is something that can also happen with other things, like being a fan of the Seahawks. Of, but we recognize that because of a lot of reasons, being a fan of the Seahawks is not as serious of an identity. And third, then we jump to this turtle thing. First of all, we're not, I mean... At least in the context of any of the things we're talking about, we're not talking about people who believe themselves to be biologically a turtle. We're talking about people who choose to express themselves through some other um, set of aesthetics that aren't necessarily man or woman. That could be um, a, a slug. It could be a dragon. It could be a demon. There's lots of people. This is something that we do all the time, like in many, many ways. And some people simply say, gender can be what we make it. So why can't my gender, how I express to the world, this, this role that I have in society, be influenced by something different than just these two? Man and woman. Male and female. Masculine and feminine. Why can't it be inspired by a turtle? Why couldn't it be inspired by a deer or a dragon or a demon? Guys, look. See my motherfucking tongue? My tongue is kind of demonic. It kind of is. And that's part of my expression. Now, I personally don't interpret demon as a part of my gender expression, but that's just my personal understanding. Some people might, and that is perfectly fine. We have a Yoda. We have a Yoda delivery. Sudden Yoda. We have a sudden Yoda. Hello, Yoda. Isn't it wonderful to be a creature that does not comprehend gender or gender identity at all? It must be a blessing. It must be a blessing to have such a simple mind. It must be a blessing to never have to delve into these horrific de depths. Boy, I love you, you wet-nosed little thing. What a wonderful pup. What an absolutely incredible pup. Do you see how much we love this dog? This dog gets more attention. She needs a brushing. Yeah, her hair is getting fucking fluffy.
Thank you, Yoda. Bye, Yoda. We love Yoda. Yoda gets the most fucking pets in the world. It's ridiculous. Bye, Yoda. Bye for now. She's getting more pets out there now. Now she's getting brushed. What a good pup. Jesus. Okay. Wow. We're what? Like, how many minutes are we into this? 10, 15 minutes? Or is that, has it even been 10 or 15 minutes? This feels so much longer. But I feel like... I feel like I want this to make sense. This has been a discourse for so long, and I just don't understand it. I do not understand how this this particular thing has been a discourse so long, and it keeps coming back. Like, I feel like this is not that complicated of an argument. The basic argument is, hey, it's good to have respect for your fellow humans. Gender is in incredibly complicated, and there is no single or even a predominant in interpretation of gender throughout all of history. So we should probably be a little humble about it and recognize that some people conceptualize it differently. And it is a good thing for us to respect that. Is this... Is that hard to understand? Was that, was that difficult to understand? What I said there? I don't feel it was. I really don't think it was or a bunny, or a table, right? Same cannot be said with any of those. And that's why we ought to respect, in my opinion, man, woman, you know, uh, non-binary in regards to being um, uh, not in the binary, uh, binary uh, bimodal distribution. Not, not in the binary bimodal distribution. This guy doesn't know what he's talking about. He just literally doesn't know what he's talking about. Guys, like, that's just simply, simply, he has no fucking clue what he's saying. He's mixing all these words up. He has no fucking clue what he's saying. Being on either side, dedicated to either side in the bimodal distribution, or, um, you know, just stating, well, I guess it wouldn't be, I guess it would be a gender would be specific, like complete absence of your position in it. Obsessed over the idea of moral obligation. That is like the laziest shit in the world. The I think it, it takes a lot of thought. It's actually, the funny part is, it's actually the hardest thing to do in the world. Because, or sorry, not in the world, of course not. But, like, it's one of the hardest things to do. Because it you have to then put your feelings to actual quantifiable, like, moral prescriptions. You have to... Oh, yes. Everybody. Everybody. We all know the very, the, the historically incredibly successful act of quantifying feelings. Everybody loves emotional math, don't we? Everybody loves when we do the emotion math. Everybody knows, remember, E equals MC squared. Emotion equals man-child squared. There you go, okay? That's what, it, that's what it is, as Einstein said. As fucking Einstein said. Don't blame me. Blame the, re blame the, blame the OG physicist himself, Albert Einstein, okay? What the fuck? Map them out, right? This feels bad. Okay, well, tell me why I ought be compelled to not make you feel bad, right? Show me the evidence of why I ought not make you, uh, uh, you know, feel bad. Okay. So, this is literally, this is literally Patrick Bateman. No, this is Patrick Bateman shit. Tell me why I should care if you feel bad. That's just simply, I do not care about other people. That is, is the, do we need to go any further? Like, this guy has just straight up, like, he's just mask offed. Completely. Just, I don't care about what other people feel. So why does he care why does he make up that he cares about the trinary or that he cares about respecting people's pronouns? Why does he care when his core argument is, I don't care how you feel? Ever, presumably, is what he's saying here. That is what he just said. Like, I don't know how to tell you guys anything else. Like, I feel like this has been such a revealing analysis. Things to actual quantifiable, like... Putting feelings to actual moral quantifiable prescriptions. moral prescriptions. To map them out right this feels bad okay well tell me why i ought be compelled to not make you feel bad right show me the evidence of why i ought not make you uh, uh you know feel bad show me the evidence on why i ought not make you feel bad 
I'm going to rewind it, and I want you to tell me if there's a meaningful difference between what is said. Okay? Here we go. We're going to listen a third time because I just want to drill this home. Part is, it's actually it's the driving hardest me wild. thing to do in the world. Because, or sorry, not in the world, of course not. But, like, it's one of the hardest things to do. Here we go. Because it, you have Somebody to clip this put shit. your feelings to actual quantifiable, like, moral prescriptions. You have to map them out, right? This feels bad. Okay, well... Tell me why I ought be compelled to not make you feel bad, right? Show me the evidence of why I ought not make you, uh, uh, you know, feel bad. Convince me, literally the meme that was just up, hold on, I'll bring it right back up. Convince me to give a shit about other people. It's okay, I'll wait. He literally, he just said that, paraphrased. Somebody clip that. Somebody clip that motherfucking shit right there. Let's keep going. Because again... It is true that the people that you don't say hi back to on the bus are going to feel worse. It makes the world a worse place for you to not say hi back to every single person on the bus. Do you have a moral obligation to do it? Fuck no. Fuck no. Does Wait, it provide more utility if you say- But why? Isn't this the opposite of the argument that he was making to Vosh tonight? Isn't this the opposite? of the argument he was making to Vosh tonight. Am I wrong? Okay, let's continue. Hey, hi back, absolutely. But you have no moral obligation to do so. Why? Because creating a moral obligation for me to have that reciprocal um, kind of, uh, um, uh, I guess it would be um, politeness or, or happiness towards uh, individuals that simply um, uh, bestow that upon me creates a really weird situation where I have to engage with people that I might not otherwise want to engage with. Okay, wait. So what he's saying here is that if you're if there's a moral obligation to be polite to people, it's not good because that creates a weird situation. What? What? Imagine if you're an attractive this woman, is baffling. right? And you are getting like comments every fucking day about like, hey, hey, how are you doing? And like people trying to have conversations with you and what have you. You're going to be stopped and you're going to spend all of your time every single fucking day talking to uh, dudes or women that are attracted, uh, attracted to you, just trying to appease all of them, right? And wasting your time what? every moment that you walk outside of the door. Right? What you, is he even so talking that, about? That cannot work as a rule for you to exist. Let alone the fact that, like, I don't think you have a moral obligation to uphold that okay, small, I, minute I level of happiness. Okay, I unironically do not know what any of this has to do with anything. I have no idea what he's talking about here. Not even a single clue. What does... he's What he's trying to do here, I think, is he's trying to, to lay out how you make a call for something being a moral obligation, but he's not completing the thought. ...in other people's lives. I don't think you do. I don't think you do. But the same cannot be said for, like, trans issues because I don't think it's a small, minute um, measure of happiness. I think it has to do with, like, somebody's fundamental vision of themselves and view of themselves and how society does as well. Moral obligation approach is what? fucking is just so it doesn't create no it absolutely it can create more utility for most people it absolutely can lazy noob but for other people no as a rule it would generate more utility in general if somebody randomly on the street says hi to you you generate almost no utility saying hi back or no negative utility so now he's talking about utility I think he has a moral obligation to quantify gender because it's a fundamental axiom for how he believes pronouns are used. I guess? Saying hi back. Very marginal at best. Right? You have the one-off cases, like I cited with the attractive woman, who are going to spend their entire life fucking saying hi to people because everybody realizes that they can call her a bitch if she doesn't say hi back with this fucking system. But what? I, I don't actually know what... I don't know how this applies. So, wait a second. I, let me try and make sure that I'm understanding this correctly. Wait. So... The woman... Says hi back... So that she doesn't have people call her a bitch? And that applies to moral obligations how? How does any of that apply to moral obligations? I do not know. I don't know how that connects back to moral obligations. I'm seriously trying. To, I'm genuinely trying to understand this shit at this point because I am. I am unsure what is going on.
and none of this connects to me. The way you know that. Except for basically, except for up. basically, ultimately, that this is all like a lot of words to say. Ultimately, that he believes that you only have to respect he and she and they. I don't know why he says they, but he does say he and she. Those two because those have a historical standard. But anything else, you do not have to in his mind. Apparently, they because that has a historical standard. Even though, like it, which it, it does kind of, but it's also like a current issue of contention in our society so i don't really think he can make the appeal to society in the same way it does exist but you want to know what else exists and has a historical precedent precedent two spirits two spirits is a perfect example of this there have been numerous non-binary alternate gender understandings hijra uh uh um there's so many god there's so many uh, gender fluid Agender people, and these are have been around for for quite a long time. So, and intersex people, all of these have a historical precedent, at least as much as they them. So I don't understand where his line here is. He doesn't have a coherent. He he doesn't have. He just doesn't have a coherent view on this at all. Yeah, whatever, right? Um, but in general, you're gonna. But he's very. Like, but notice, notice, carry, remember, like, this guy's going on everybody's platforms and making fucking stupid arguments. So like. He definitely talks with a lot of authority about something he literally has no coherent idea about. You're going to do it like every once in a while outside and people are going to be happier and better off for it. King, Anki and chat? Wait, who? I'll just get rid of them. I'm not going to... I've already taken a pretty hard stance against not talking to tankies, not platforming. These. Full respect. It's respect for another fucking human. What the fuck? What, what is the... What is the... I mean, I, I don't really care about moral obligations. I care about how we, like, coexist and work together and treat each other with basic human respect. It reads like, basically you know, like where I come from. So it's he not had like nothing to say thing. to that. Some of them Wait, he had nothing to say to that. That is a very succinct view of my understanding of, like, the world. And he has nothing to say to that. Just completely breezes over it. Okay. Like our it's not a disrespectful thing. I don't respect your gender. It's not a disrespect thing. Hmm. Okay. Well, for me to like use, like I am not, I'm actually not comfortable referring to a person as it. Guess what? That's their right. I'm not resp Wait, this, oh my God. I hate this argument. This is the same argument. Unironically, this is the, hold on. Look at this. Ready? This is the same argument that people make for, for misgendering any trans person. I'm not comfortable with X. You're just... <laughs> Do you can't just co-opt the language? Okay, this is the same language that every single trans person says whenever they talk about like wanting to date a Nazi. I'm not what? comfortable dating a Nazi. Like, oh, so it's like what? That doesn't follow. What he said is not a response to what I said. He did not respond to what I just said. He didn't respond to what I just said at all. Yeah, we could use the same language, but they both have different implications they have both different contexts of what? course like the context of well i'm not comfortable properly gendering somebody doesn't have the same context as well i'm not comfortable with using it it's as a pronoun which by the way is based i do not use it it's as pronouns because that shit's fucking cringe what guys guys it's just like what the fuck? Wait, it's right there. Like it's just right there. It's just motherfucking right there. He just fucking laid it out. The reason that he doesn't do it is because it's cringe. Everything else is fucking words. It's just empty words. He has no reasoning. He pretends to be a logic lord, but he literally can't logic his way out of a paper bag. We just sat here and tried to go through what he said, which was incoherent. Caught in motherfucking 4K. What else needs to be said? What else? What else needs to be said? I don't do use it its because it's cringe. Okay, dude. So you just don't like people who use it its. That is just what we call, I don't know. At same fucking thing that I won't use she her because that's cringe what it's the 
literal same fucking argument. You don't like it. That's all that you're saying. You're just saying, I don't like it. Okay, that's fine. You're allowed to not like it. And I'm allowed to say something back. It's as simple as that. Just being a pussy. What you're, the fuck? You're, you're, you're just saying, you're, you're, you're just pussying out of owning your position. I don't respect your gender. Just say it. Own it. Say it with your fucking chest. Come on. And, and thank you. Say it with your chest. Thank you, he fucking did. And thank you, he did. He did say it. He did say it. We can go back and watch. He beat me to it this time because I was reacting to Cherry and not to him. But here we go. Ready? Listen. To date a Nazi. I'm not comfortable dating a Nazi. Like, oh, so? It's like, what? Yeah, we could use the same language, but they both have different implications. They have both different contexts. Of course, like the context of, well, I'm not comfortable properly gendering somebody doesn't have the same context as, well, I'm not comfortable with using it, it's as a pronoun, which by the way is based. I do not use it, it's as pronouns because that shit's fucking cringe. Just... There you go. He said it with his chest. At least he fucking said it. He doesn't respect people's gender identities. Simple. Simple. Simple as. If you don't adhere to his view of gender, you are not valid to him. Simple as. How many times do I gotta lay this shit out for people before it's demystified? How many times do I have to point this shit out to people before we realize exactly what the political proclivities of this space are? Why do we have to pretend? Why do we have to sit here and pretend like these people are honest actors? Or that these people are on the same side as us when ultimately their argument is, I don't respect your gender unless you do it the way I do it. It is the exact same thing the Christians did, just they added a they so they can feel woke. Simple, uh, simple, simple as that. It really is simple as that. By the way, Danny, this, this, this segment, I want this out ASAP, if possible. This segment, I want this fucking shit in front of people's eyes. Jesus fucking Christ. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Being a pussy. You're ju you're you're just saying you're, you're you're just pussying out of owning your position. I don't respect your gender. Just say it. Own it. Say it with your fucking chest. Come on. Say it with your chest. For the most part, when I see those debates, it's, it's not even about consent. It's just about mutual respect. People have a right to be called what they want to be called. They they ha people we, we we give. Like, that's, that's your right. I believe in this deeply. Self-expression. Your uh, agency to determine your own identity is yours. I, I don't tell you who chest, or what you chest. are. That's fucking bullshit. Anyway, I'm getting mad about it. Let's keep going. It's usually not about, like, like who is in the right, who is in the wrong. It's, it's mostly about, are you allowed to call me a bad person because I'm uncomfortable using that identifier? And I just... Okay. No, it isn't. This is, this is what you call, you know what we call this? Oh boy, here we go. All right, everybody, you ready? You ready for me to be real mean? This is what we call cis fragility. You can't say I'm an asshole when I'm an asshole to you. You can't say I'm wrong for just literally believing I should be able to determine what your identity is because I'm uncomfortable with it. That is literally, that is categorically what we call cis fragility. You are Xander Hall, what? it's actually true. You are like the least fragile cis person, like, especially among the debatey people. It's actually true. Like, what the- Oh, that's so cringe. What the fuck? You're one of the good ones. <laughs> it's do yes, it is. It's, yeah, it's, Constance, you're right. It's dodging saying the plain content. It's because they're, it's- You don't want to dehumanize people? You're a fragile? Well, yeah, it's just like, I mean, she said- You're not dehumanizing people by respecting what they ask you to call them, you moron. You absolute, just zero act brain activity moron. You are not disrespecting, you are not dehumanizing someone by respecting their gender, by telling them you will not respect their stated identity. That is dehumanizing. That is dehumanizing. Zero brain activity. She said it herself. She doesn't understand the moral um, obligation argument, so... 
No, but I understand. Missing... I understand a moral obligation argument. I understand that very well. I grew up in a fucking Christian religion, extremist Christian religion. I completely understand the moral argument. You just don't know what you're talking about. You do not know what you're talking about. None of what you've said here has been sensical. It's been word salad that doesn't even connect back together. Thing. Not half the conversation, she's literally missing the foundation to even begin the conversation in the first place. You cannot claim that, the, that she's being transphobic without, or at least... you. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Irrelevant, for telling me I don't, I, I, my stupid female brain, uh, my stupid non-binary trans brain doesn't have the, the, the tools necessary to, to have a conversation on gender. After you literally rec you literally caught in 4K display that you have no fucking clue what any of the words that you're saying actually mean. But you're going to talk down to me and say, I don't contain the tools. My, my dude, please shut the fuck up. You can't claim that she's being transphobic in a way anybody should care about without establishing a moral obligation. You can claim that Cherry's being transphobic, but without a moral obligation, your claims to transphobia mean absolutely nothing. So. It's intellectual cowardice. Yeah, the bulletproof sissy dragon. <laughs> it is. Say it with your fucking chest. Just walk up to me and say you don't respect any my gender or you don't respect the gender of the people I love. Said it with the S. Just fucking say it. Just fucking own it. God damn, I hate that shit. It's find um, it's it's a challenge that people are not willing to engage with. And any time that uh, relevant talks to somebody, um, be it no common chick now or in the future where he talks to um, what's her, uh, Doe or Xlox, that it's something that they run from as well and just don't. Doe, excuse me. First of all, Doe does not run from anything. It does not run from fucking shit. Look, I'm gonna go fucking ham for Doe right now. Okay, ham for Doe. Okay. Listen to me. Doe doesn't run the from- The irony is based on what we know about DM. DM is cisgender phobic, unironically, uh, due to her childhood trauma with her abusive Christian- Wait, how do we- I wouldn't make a claim like that. Oh! We, we that. Do you agree that gender is completely divorced from sex? To me, that makes no sense at all. No, I- So- I, I agree that, so no, I do believe that gender is different than sex. I do believe that it is. Now, it depends on what you mean by completely divorced. I believe our ideas of gender are informed by... I'm cisgender phobic, but they make a stereotype about my, my abusive upbringing making me cisgender phobic. My god. This is literally, this is, there is no difference between this. There is, I'm not kidding you. I mean this sincerely. There is zero difference between how this how irrelevant is treating me and his chat is treating me to the way conservatives treat me these people are identical in the way they approach it identical the only difference is that the irrelevant types are a little bit and i mean a little bit more accepting of trans people that that do the dance for them so they won't accept a blair white but they'll accept a lot of people in between. So it's like this big. They have their good ones, and that's it. That's it. That's the only difference. Their arguments are the same. Their reactions are the same. The stereotypes they, they, uh, they uh, you know, use are exactly the same. It's wild. What a wild night this has been. I sex, if that's what you mean. Like, our pictures of it in our mind are informed by sex. It, it depends on what you mean. I don't think your sex has any governance on what your gender is, though. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, your sex doesn't guide your gender. However, our ideas of gender is guided by sex. Do you understand what I'm saying? Fucking shit! You motherfuckers have harassed the fuck out of Doe for like- <laughs> Did Doe refuse multiple times to debate Destiny? Yes. Literally a year. You wait, wait a minute. That goes into my favor. Doe has refused to debate Destiny to stop. Look at that. He fucking admits it. Oh my god. He fucking admit it. He just admitted it. That Doe has not tried to cause shit with Destiny. And they just go after it. For no reason. Oh my god, he admit it.
I feel like this right here is probably one of the most definitively revealing segments I have ever seen on anything DGG related. Jesus Christ. Let's keep going. You and your stupid fucking goons, you and your stupid fucking minions, all from DGG, have gone after Doe for fucking no reason, and Doe doesn't run from fucking shit. You fucking idiots literally cannot engage in an honest conversation with Doe. Yeah, it does not back down. And it doesn't back down because it doesn't, it shouldn't have to. It shouldn't have to back down. Why the fuck should Doe have to back down to these stupid, fragile motherfuckers? God, I'm so based. Fucking stupid. Don't acknowledge, they will, I do see people say stuff like, you can call them a different name, you can call them a neutral pronoun, you can just, um... <laughs> you can decide something that they don't want to be called and call them that because you don't respect them. That's which that that is what I don't mean gender is has um, to be guided by sex, but I feel like the term gender has no purpose whatsoever if it's not supposed to point to something that I'm gonna has move to myself up. Sex. I'm gonna move my hat up. Oh sure, um, because like look at that. You gotta I see mean, my reaction. This is something I wanted to have a conversation with uh, like Riley about because something I actually do feel like I'm more in the in the realm of viewing gender actually in a similar way to Demon Mama. Which is that, it's just like, I want it to just go away. It's like, to me, the way that we've fabricated it in our mind is this nebulous thing. However, I'm open to the arguments that like, it seems like Destiny and Riley have put forward, which is that there is an attachment to some real thing. What? Destiny has talked about, you know, the attachment to some real phenomena and shit like that. I have no coherent idea of gender that attaches itself. With we, know, we know, we know. Oh my god, I should clip that. I have no coherent concept of gender. I have no coherent idea of gender that attaches itself with anything real beyond some cultural expectations that we have established inside of society, which Demon Mama holds. But that's just about where the connection um, stops. Or that's just about where the, um, I guess, the middle ground stops between me and Demon Mama. Because from there... What are you talking about? Um... Yeah, I don't really, uh, I don't really see the, uh, the utility in using gender as a means of like saying, well, it's any form of identification at all. No, it's a, let's use gender to the best of our ability Wait, right do now. Do you understand why people take that position? Do you understand why people have loose or looser definitions of gender? I don't think I don't think he does. I don't think he I don't think he actually understands their position. Why people do that? I do. I do. I understand why people do that. And the reason is because they believe that gender is a free space, which he just admitted it pretty much is. Gender is this messy concept that nobody has like a a, a proper definition of. And so some people decide to interpret gender as something that you can be as expressive as you want with. So we can transition our way into making sure that like it more or less doesn't exist in society. And that doesn't mean that we just make everything a gender, but that we just work our way so that way people feel comfortable expressing themselves in a multitude of ways that, like, makes sense what? and is coherent with moral obligations, and then hopefully evaporate. That's what, what the goal is. But I'm what? open to the idea uh, that could exist where gender is a materially real thing. It's just a, a concept that attaching it to a real thing would be rather bizarre no, to me. No, it isn't. That's the thing. That's the whole point. Gender isn't a real thing. It's a social construct. That's the definition of gender. Gender is the social side of things. And, I mean, you can use a totally different definition of gender if you really want to. But the whole reason why we have two separate words is because gender is the abstract part. It's the social part. I know this guy is mind-warpingly stupid. It's actually painful. But I feel like we're growing as a result. I feel like all of our brains are growing. Maybe. Or maybe we're just suffering pain. All Listen, the Xbox cap is protecting me. Everybody needs to put on their Xbox caps. Top of the Xbox to you, okay? Love to Vectroid, okay? Love to Vectroid. Credit to Vectroid for that amazing uh, saying. I've never heard it anywhere else, so love to, love to Vectroid. But uh, everybody, put on your Xbox hats, and we're going to dive back in, okay?
Vaughn, may I have a soda? Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Let us continue. We have a lot to do. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> yeah, so gender abolitionist that isn't a fucking arsonist for concepts? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, that's probably what I'd be. I'm a gender abolitionist, but I don't want to go like... Well, Are there too many demon go, llamas on because, stream? Fuck it, at that point... Listen, this right here, the screen that you are witnessing, is a representation of Twitch, okay? Look, it is my original video, irrelevant reacting to it. It is no comment chick reacting to our relevant reacting to me. Then Cherry is reacting to no comment chick. Then I was reacting to Cherry. And then Irrelevant was reacting to Cherry. And now I am reacting to all of it. But do you want to know who the brackets are? Who are the brackets? Me. I am the beginning, the middle, and the end of this entire thing. I started it with my original fucking content. And I finish it with my original content. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I wear the Xbox hat. My KDA is beyond all of yours. And I am the Queen of Hell, and I am Demon Mama. Do you understand? Do you motherfucking understand right here? Look, you can see it with your own eyes. Look, look with your own eyes right here. I will highlight it for you. Look, wait, no, wrong screen. Hold on. My goodness, hold on. Look, here I am, right here. What you see here is my original content. Oh, how beautiful. Then, here I am in the middle, right here. And here, I am once more. Oh, you can't see that because there, I am once more here. You're welcome. You're truly welcome for what I create for you. Because without me, just know that without me and all of the shit, all the original content that I do that everybody gets mad about, if it wasn't for me, none of this content would have happened. None of this fun, none of the laughs that you're all here having and all the people that watch this shit happen. All of it. It's true. It's just true. You're a proud cis savior? Uh, yeah, sure, nuts. Sure, buddy. Let's continue. If like go full like, like essentially turf at that point, um, with it, which is um, fuck it. If you're gonna be trans, why aren't you non-binary? Why aren't you agender? You realize how shit gender is, right? Wait, I am non-binary. Wait, I am non-binary. I, I am non-binary. Ready? Y'all ready? I don't think y'all are ready for this. Hold on. Y'all ready for this? Ready? Let's go to Twitter. Take a look at that. What's that say right there? What's that motherfucking say? Do we need to use the do we need to use the zoom tool? Do we need to use the draw tool? Well, I, I love the What's that say right there, everybody? Aberration. Hey, can anybody read that? It's said that for a long, long time. It's been there a long motherfucking time, everybody. Unbiny. It is true. My birthday is very soon. That is true. Hold on. I, I'm still zoomed in. All right, everybody. Let's return to the nonsense. Let's return to the madness. Just go full A gender. Let's blow up gender right now, today. Everybody who recognizes that gender is cringe, everybody. just be A gender, forehead. Then the system will go away, forehead. Just don't apply, don't attribute anything to gender. Wait. What? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. We're going to do fun stuff on the birthday? Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll work it out. You can't work on your birthday. I can't work on my birthday? Okay. Well, what is my... I don't know what day my birthday is anyway. Sunday. Oh. No, it is this Monday. Wait, no, it is Sunday. Okay, I guess I'll have to take Sunday off. Oh, well. We'll figure it out. Let us continue. 
everybody do everything that's unique and shit like that. You know, wear a half dress, half fucking jean fit. Like, Bro. we could get into infinitely nebulous bullshit. Okay. But, like, that's not where we should be at with this shit. Wait, right? We should be realistic with how these things work, fit with... Wait, what do you... What? ...within our moral paradigms and try and work with it, but... We should fit within our moral paradigms? Guys, come on. Come on. We should we shouldn't be like this. We shouldn't wear dresses with jeans. We should try and fit within our moral paradigms. This is just conservatism. This is just conservatism. I'm sorry. This is just conservatism. Like fuck it, I guess just blow up everything that we touch. That is what this person just said. That is what Cherry just said. You should just call them something they don't want to be called. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's it's are awesome. I've considered using them myself because I find it I find it, it's pronouns pronouns to be empowering for many people. And but guess what? You want to know what's not empowering? When people use it against my will. You know what is empowering? When people use it when I ask that. Interesting. Interesting how that works, isn't it? How if you want to be called something, would I get in trouble it, for changing my pronouns to the N-word with the soft day? Isn't that weird? Isn't that just such a strange concept, considering the desires and will and agency of another human being? Ooh. I'd have to make it clear. I think I would probably put it on my Twitter account that um, if you believe in neo pronouns, call me the soft day. Otherwise, you're transphobic. If you don't believe in neo pronouns based, just use he him. I think that's probably something that I would... I think that's something I'm really open to doing. Yeah, do it. Like, genuinely. Like, ironically open to doing. Do it, bro. The only issue is, like... Bring it. I do don't it. want to... Good luck. Like, I don't want to catch, you know... We talked about this. By the way, we talked... I've talked about this on my stream, but I'm going to do it again. Ready? I'm going to do it again. The reason why... The reason why people would be uncomfortable with... Or would be able to deny arguably uh the a, somebody using a slur as their pronoun it has nothing to do with um the with with a matter of respect because respect is a two-way street this is why the moral obligation thing doesn't play well if you if somebody comes up to you and says i'm nazi gender i will not respect a nazi gender person you want to know why because i don't respect because i say it with my whole chest I don't respect people who identify with Nazis. So there you go. Yes, I will misgender a Nazi gender person because I don't respect Nazis. It's a bad, this is a bad faith example. That's simple as that. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that, was that hard to say? Was that hard to come to a moral conclusion? But what's your reason for not respecting its, its people? Because you're uncomfortable because you don't like it because you don't like the sound of the word or you feel that it's um that 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 it could be interpreted as um disrespectful but that person is telling you this is not disrespectful to me this is who i am what the fuck you can you can decline to respect something without it being a moral obligation I would not respect someone if they walked up to me and said, my, my gender is genocide. I would not respect that because that's disgusting. Why would you build your identity on something like that? And I will judge you for that. Of course. Sure. And I have my reasons for that. <gasps> wow. People have different reasons for doing things. Is this like, is this a hard argument? Is this a confusing argument to make? You respect people's pronouns out of a sense of mutual respect. That's the argument I'm making right here. Somebody asks, hey, I don't, I am a non-binary person who uses it, it's pronouns. They don't bother me. They make me feel good. Please use them for me. And then you say, no, fuck you. Yeah, that's disrespectful. Yeah, that's disrespectful. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll say that's disrespectful. I think your reasonings are bad. But if you don't want to call somebody Nazi gender because you don't like Nazis, I think that's a pretty good reason. Wow, simple as that. Jeez, is that really that hard? Is this a really hard thing to work through? People that don't have... Like, essentially, I don't want to, like, 
Bro. Wait, I still no no I still use she her. I just I just don't list my pronouns on my uh on my bio on Twitter anymore because people tried to like literally try to use them all the time. I still use she her. I like she her. I think they sound good. That's why I use them. But I've always I've been non-binary since before I started streaming. I've been openly non-binary since before I uh, started streaming. Yeah, like literally, you can ask my partners anything. Anyway, let's continue. You know, fuel onto the fire for people that hate trans people, and I fear that that might end up happening. Um, Wait, you're you're because you're I don't want to put to out that. the message that it's such a big deal that like doing doing you know something like that would be a thing. You know? Mm, I don't know. I'm having a sock jam moment over here. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if I can do that. That wouldn't go well? Yeah, that's what I mean. The racists would love that? Yeah, but okay. I don't care. I'm, I'm a little uncomfortable with your agency. Logically, that checks, uh, out and checks out according to DM's morals. Right. I, so, listen. I don't give a fuck about any of that shit. What I give a fuck about is, like, people actually thinking that, like, huh, look at- I don't, I don't give a shit about wait somebody did you hear that somebody in his chat goes this actually makes sense within D within demon mama's stated moral system and he goes i don't give a shit about that so what he's saying here is he doesn't care what i say at all this is what we call a bad faith engagement a very very bad faith engagement how bad it's gotten even people on the left agree that like Trans people are so out of hand that you can identify as uh, the n-word. It's like Wait, what? You know, I, I don't want it to be weaponized. You know what I mean? And Dude, I fear what? that if I make it public it well not I fear I know if I make it public It'll be weaponized. So I just don't you know, I don't want it to get out of hand and I think it probably will inevitably get out of hand Slippery slope. Like it's not these those 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 uppity uppity Abnormal transes are gonna get out of hand and we better take care of them. That's literally what he just said. This is what he's fucking saying. He's saying, I fear that people like Demon Mama, aka weirdos like Demon Mama and anybody else who is a, who's a weirdo like me, are dangerous and are going to fuck it up for everybody else. This is called, again, a concern troll. He is concerned on the behalf of people he does not respect about what might happen to them according to his a absolutely incoherent worldview Jesus Christ a big deal I understand that but the thing that they need to say publicly or just acknowledge or just engage with it. is the idea that some the thing that it needs to use and say publicly and let's see if your assertion is even correct somebody not calling you a neo pronoun is does not make them a bad person does not make them a morally bad That's person I thought about how bad would it be if I just said my pronouns were the uh, T slur from now on yeah I like I don't know I legitimately don't know. Do it, dude. Yeah, the uh, point makes... Uh... Hey, say it. Say it. You fucking coward. Do it. Do it. Do it. You, do you see what you just see what the joke that he's making right now is? This is this is what this is him. This is him calling me a T slur without saying it. Just so you know, just so you understand how the joke is working. Do it. Do it then. Uh, since uh, using it is usually derogatory and is used to make somebody feel lesser than it was. A, is it, right, right. Like, that's why I don't use it. I don't use it for the same reason why I wouldn't put the N word as my pronoun. Because it's like, haha, look at it. Like they're 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 fucking using. Or sorry, I guess, look at it. It is using. He's struggling. His pronoun, brain is failing. It, right, like fuck that shit. First off, nobody knows how to say a sentence with it. It pronouns. Y yes, yes, every single person does. And secondly, you just said you don't need to do any of this. All of this is bullshit. Everything he's about to say is bullshit because earlier, remember, earlier in this video, he said the reason he doesn't respect it, it's pronouns is because he thinks they're cringe. So none of what he says now matters at all because he already told us the reason why. Like that shit is stupid.
And um, second of all, like, you're just gonna... Uh, honestly, it's just... It's fucking free ammo. And I just hate that shit. And I don't want to perpetuate those systems and shit. And also Neo pronouns are pretty cool. I don't want to perpetuate oh. transphobia by respecting your identity. That is categorically concern trolling. Categorically concern trolling. Don't have a moral obligation to respect. Guess what? You want to know what's really funny? Could you make your pronouns the C slur? I think less people would be offended by it. Unironically, based on the number of people, uh, I, I don't know if like white people never like get told what the C slur is. I think unironically, I'd have a lot of people on stream call me that and not realize it's a racial slur. I think I'd have like people say like, oh, I see your pronouns are all oh, this word on Twitter. Like what's a, and I'm like, dude, you just, so this like, is the third you just time, got banned, bro. By like, the way, this is the third time that, that he's made the same joke. This is literally the third time he's made the exact same joke. First, he made it with the N-word. Then he made it with the T-slur. Now he made it with the C-slur. Three times, same joke. And the the joke is, I'm not kidding you. The joke is, attack helicopter. That is literally the joke. The joke is attack helicopter. He's made it three times. Like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> like... Dude, all right, bro. I think I'd unironically catch a lot of people with bands because they just have never heard the word before. You want to know what's really fucking I funny? I would have four months ago. And it would Doe for sure. is yeah. one of the most... Uh, I don't want to Google... Yeah, amicable stop. Don't fucking and willing do to this shit. Us with anybody no. beings on this motherfucking planet. Don't... Don't yeah, reference like it. it. Fuck yeah. Don't okay, reference it, chat. The more don't, people don't I meet, reference fucking, it. I think it's fucking cool. Because you don't know what it sounds like to me. Don't reference the C slur, please. Okay? Don't reference the C slur. Interpret idiots. When people in any way, shape, or form, that makes me feel like I'm a force beyond, like a force beyond nature. So I think it's empowering, personally. I love it how whenever you bring it up, literally half the chat doesn't know what you mean. Yeah, and then the other half of the chat tries to fucking say the thing I just said was a racial slur. I fucking love my chat so much, dude. Holy fuck, Jesus Christ! Your community sounds like it sucks. It's like, oh, well, I know, I know, I know, let me say a racial slur, I know, I know, it's like, good job, dude, good fucking- Hey, I, I wonder why your chat sucks so much, dude. I, imagine why your, I, I wonder why your chat sucks so much. Is it because your takes are fucking dog shit? Is it because you literally use conservative talking points and you mask them in sock dem language? Sucks to suck, bro. Holy shit, self-report on how fucking white you are. Jesus Christ. Self-report on how white your chat is. You're you're roasting your own chat, bro. Dude, you're roasting your own fucking chat. When fucking, not when I'm denied my agency, but if that's what I asked for. But Doe literally doesn't make anybody do anything. Like, Doe literally talks all the time about fucking cunt, yeah, ideas. That's it. it's, about, it's cunt. Like, here's the, the yes, principles behind it. this and why... All right, why it, stop it talking about it. it. Then you got it, okay? That's it. You got it, all right? Stop talking about it. Yep. Believes. Like, this that's is it. so silly. This is such a... This is, this is just fragility. What, what else is this? Yeah, it does feel removed from gender. It, and you know what else it does? You know what else? Here's a, here's a weird one. Here's a weird one for me. It feels removed from humanity. You know what? We're going to talk about this. I want to talk about my thoughts about this. Ooh, <clears throat> today's politics day. So why not? Maybe we can have a talk about this. Why not? Let's talk about politics. Gender politics is politics. We'll talk about this after. But first, I want to get to the bottom of this drama because it's making me mad. Act, uh, something like neo pronouns as they don't have... It does to me? Wait, what? I mean, okay. I don't think I'm a bad person, and I don't- you watch Demon Mama, so I don't think you even believe in hell. I don't know- I don't believe in hell, so just pick a different place for me to go to. I personally don't like Mississippi. I would- tell me to go to- <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so Violent Smoker says, you won't- you refuse- Okay, so Violent Smoker- Violent Smoker has said here- uh, let me, hold on, look, I don't, I actually didn't see what pronouns Violent Smoker uses. So, uh, but Violent Smoker said before that they use, uh, some, some sort of neo-pronoun. Okay? Yeah, let me rewind a little bit. Does anybody know? Hold on. 
Hi, Lonnie. It was E-I-R. Okay, so air, air pronouns are A-E-I-R or E-I-R. Okay. And, and this is what okay. I thought it was. Air but... pronouns. Uh, and, and E said, how about that? Go to hell if you don't respect me. Wow, is that so offensive? Is it so fucking offensive to be like, you just openly sorry, said I, that you don't respect I, 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 me, I so fuck you. It was. I think that's perfectly within reason. Like, what the no, fuck? No, I legitimately thought that's what it was. Like, I thought they were doing a, a reference, just to be clear. Okay, if I go if I go to a place and somebody I'm says- Ironically though, do you not feel uh, comfortable saying the slur in order to educate me? It's literally a racial- No, I do not. No. I, well, I mean, I wouldn't mind- If we were in private and there was no recordings, I wouldn't fucking care. I'd say the N-word. I don't give a fuck. I'm black as hell. The fuck I care. But I'm not going to say it in fucking- On Twitch, dude. What the fuck? No, I'm not gonna say a racial slur on Twitch so way you white fucks can know what I'm talking about so way you can add it to your repertoire. I'm sorry, I love you, all right? I love you, all right? I'm memeing I'm not on a call, I'm people, reacting. God damn, dude. Holy uh, for shit. For those who are confused, I am reacting to a reaction of, of me. I am reacting to a five nested reaction of reactions to me. So the video was my video, which All Relevant reacted to, and then no comment chick reacted to it, and then Cherry reacted to it, and freaked out on my chat, and now Irrelevant has made a response, and I am reacting to the response. It's incredibly silly. And, but the funny thing is, originally, for those of you who know, originally this is what the stream looked like. Because we were, we were treating it with the respect it deserves. But the arguments were literally so bad that I had to make it a serious video because the arguments were so trash. I mean, really bad. And we've been dealing with them one by one, as thoroughly as possible. But it's grim, okay? We are, it is in dire straits. Some of you guys are acting like you guys are fucking uh, unlocking your third eye with this extra racial slur that you guys don't know, fucking know. Holy shit. You're like, wow, I get another one? I don't think you even believe in hell. I don't know. <laughs> don't You watch Demon Mama, so I don't think you even believe in hell. I don't know. <laughs> We did the same thing. I did the same. I fucking did. I reacted in this exact same way. Oh my god! Jesus, God, man, control yourself. Uh, Sometimes you, I'm too I, much okay, for here's me. An example: Somebody comes to my. Listen, nowhere else in the world can you find as poggers of a of a streamception as me. Yeah, it's Demon Mama, ir irrelevant. Cherry DM, irrelevant DM. That's how it goes. But I am the beginning and end of this stream, right? And they say, I don't like your tongue. And I say, fuck you. Simple as that. Is that really such a huge deal? Is that really worth all this, this right, shit? Let's, let's, let's back, but let's, let's come on, Sebastian. Come on, come on. Mississippi, that would, I would be offended by that uh, one. An ineffective, I had a bad um, experience at a Cracker Barrel in Mississippi. Attempt to substantiate something that like, uh, so you know, you're right. If she is making this claim with knowledge that it's not true, that's fucked up. But I, maybe I don't so, know yeah. if it's that or if it's that she's unable to support her claim with the example that she's showing and that she's, you know, Failing at, at, How about you that? Know, like that, that, that no. might be, I might get back non human identities. No, it's not. There's no, I think it is more controversial to not allow people to use it, its pronouns than non human identities. I think you're going to find it's very uncontroversial to not be cool with people being like, oh, I'm bun bun self. Yeah, like the fuck? What? Her thesis statement is you would have to, like, I'm Tony Stark. All right. Explain to me why I'm a terrible person if I don't- You will be categorized as a human. No matter what. No. You will be. No. Yes. You must be a human. No. What happened when- What happened? Do you think humans always thought of them, themselves as humans? Do you think that's- that, that the same concept of human has existed through all of history? Do you think it will? I don't think it does. I don't know. I guess I have some things in common with some humans, but I'm very different than the humans of the past. You were getting beers to survive this? Uh, you missed, um, you, oh, 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 Grime Dango, you missed the best part. You missed Ah Relevant getting mad at his own chat for being racist. Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah. For being too white and being racist. So that's very interesting. We've had a very, very wild ride this stream. This is this stream has been a wild ride. Uh, just as a warning, I love you all, but there's no possible way that I'm going to be able to do Cooking Mama tonight. So don't worry, okay? We'll do it soon.
I love you. I'm sorry. I know, but you got lots of bonus content. You're going to have to wait for Cooking Mama. I love you, but you got bonus content. No crying. Let's continue. We got a lot more to do still. Use those pronouns. Nobody is, nobody is saying that. It, you would have to explain to me. I look down for the ethnic sort of Polish people. Sounds good. How in my life I'm supposed to understand the, the use of those pronouns. It's not up yet. It's going to be up later. Literal cis fragility. That's, not, I, that's I not cis fragility. Yes, it it's is. It's just about whether or not it's reasonable to consider that somebody should know and be educated on these things before, like, they do X, Y, and Z. For instance, I think... No. This is cis fragility, my dude. This is cis fragility. It's double, now it's double cis fragility. It is unreasonable for me to expect... Like, we went over this whole thing with the uh, cop shit. I think it is unreasonable for me to expect that cops have the level of legal knowledge that they need to be able to perform their job. However, I recognize that they do need that legal level or that legal knowledge to be able to perform their job. Therefore, I think that they should undergo excess training, right? I wouldn't morally what? condemn all of the cops that don't understand the law to the degree of which is necessary to do their job because the system said that that's what they needed to be able to do their What? What does this have to do with gender? Wait, I'm sorry, but what does this have to do with gender? Their job. And that's what they got outputted uh, out of the system to do. Good night, Uncle Gumball. But I can't morally shit on them for doing that. So, you know, they aren't supposed to have the arcane in in Fuck! arcane intellect to be able to know that shit. Dude. Right? Like, that's not something I can reasonably expect them to do. But, you know, it's... I would want them to. You need, I don't know to explain to me, you need to explain to me your entire identity before I will respect you. What the fuck? I swear to God, everybody, I did not know this was what I was raiding into. Okay? I did not know. She has been educated? She is not. Like, if you think there Cherry an argument. has this is gone just nonsense. through the entire fucking argumentation for all of this shit, you're just wrong. And two... If you believe that she had, she would end up with the same position she has right now. Because guess what? The based position is, well, I don't have to give a fuck about neo pronouns. The fuck? The I, based I, position, I, as far as the I, based position is, I don't have to give a fuck about neo pronouns. The based position is, I don't have to give a fuck about gender. Nice, bro. This guy's a dumb fuck. This guy is a certified dumb fuck. Just 100% A-grade fucking pure polished dumb fuckery. I know I've been on good terms. Literally a couple of days ago, Cherry was asking me for help um, with one of her with her content in DMs. And we, we had a perfectly pleasant conversation. And like, now we're into this. What the fuck? Destiny is X, and then her- I'm not trying to be disrespectful, Liz. You put moral, morals so on me. Does that mean that, like, she knew that Destiny is not X, and that she's- I have to understand why. Yeah. I'm not trying to necessarily make the argument because knowledge that she knew that she's- Because I respect it as a human being. I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, like, I'm agreeing with you, though, that it's a mess. I don't know you at all. Of, you know, I don't understand like, you know, what you- Actually doing what she's- I definitely trying to do. Another sock down moment. Another fucking sock down moment. I don't know you. That doesn't- That means I don't have to give you basic human respect. Dude. This is a sock down moment. Isn't this the person who's like mod team and shit or like really fucking cringe about every single person that dislikes her? Isn't this the person that promotes like really fucking hostile environments for anybody that disagrees with them? <laughs> what? What? What is that? How is that a response to what I said? What's happening? Oh, my brain is, my brain is melting. Them, including like bigoted environments for people that don't that disagree with them. I have a bigoted environment. What's the bigoted environment I have? What's the bigoted environment? Right. Wait, wait. I was talking about this earlier. I was talking about this earlier. How one of the things that DGG does is they just make shit up about you. They just just completely make shit up about you, totally and utterly. Like, what is any of this in reference to? He just yelled at his own chat for being racist. And yet he's saying, I have a bigoted environment? These people are incoherent. This is... Watching this is like watching a Trump supporter. It's the, it's like watching Fox News. Brainless. Dude. Oh, it's so bad. What has happened? Do you guys remember? Okay. Hold on a second. Do you guys remember what Twitch was like? Isn't you this the person that literally, like, yeah, vermin hands is like... 
uh, uh, fucking special ID inside of the chat when literally they're throwing out rapist accusations towards Destiny with absolutely no zero evidence to be able to back up the claim. Oh, but sock dims, you know, good old sock dims, they're always like the fuck. What you mean? Look, is Vermin a VIP in this chat? A turbo, a turbo VIP. Vermin is a turbo VIP in this chat. But to my knowledge, Vermin has never accused anybody of rape. And it sounds like you're just doing, once again, making something up, literally ass-pulling it. Like, I don't know what the fuck he was talking about with me having a, a, a bit. I've never been canceled for being, like, bigoted or having a bigoted work environment. What the fuck? I've never been canceled for having my fans, like, my mods do weird shit. I, our Discord is, like, really awesome and people really like it. Like, what the fuck? I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what the fuck any of this is. Grime Dango says, I don't think I've ever seen political discourse and debate online as good as on your server. What is wrong with this dude? Wait, none of these people ever have been to my server. They're just making shit up because they don't like me. They have to not like me because daddy doesn't like me. This guy's really fucking, this guy's the worst of the, this guy might be the worst of the bunch. He might be the worst of the, of the, of the destiny orbiters. He's definitely the most desperate. This is pathetic content. Look at the kind that you keep around. What the fuck? Remember, this is the guy who simps for the dude who is caught in 4K in his own chat making fun of fucking suicide. Come on. This is nobody. There's no illusions anymore. There's no fucking illusions anymore. Come on. Don't. You don't remember what it was like. Do you know what we used to talk about on Twitch? You know what we used to talk about on Twitch panels back when Chud Logic did Chud Night? Way back in the day. When we used to argue about, like, actual shit, there used to be huge debate. There were big debates. There was drama over, like, revolution versus reform. There was, like, there was, uh, there was drama and discourse over, like, whether, whether voting is really a, a proper expression of your value, values. There was arguments over, like, whether sabotage is, like, a valid response to climate change. That's the shit we used to argue about. This is the state of Twitch politics now. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I want to smoke with you too. Vermin, seriously. I just need, we need to sit down and just make a date. I want to chill and smoke with you so bad. Oh my God. Oh, I'll bring, I'll bring. Real you question up. is literally, if you identify as a literal animal, does that mean you will renounce human rights? So nobody to my knowledge actually identifies as a literal animal. They just identify hey, with Hey, there we an go. Animal, real quick, which real quick, real quick. We have just done a stalk on our own site. The only time that Vermin has ever taught, used the word rape at all was talking about uh, was talking about a story that happened to them. So, once again, motherfucking liar, literally making up nonsense. Just making it up. He just made it up. Once again, as always, caught in four fucking K. Oh, you checked further. They called Destiny, uh, Rapestiny three days ago. I don't fucking care. That is not, that is not an accusation of rape. Calling somebody that joke when literally the, every single day, DGG makes hundreds of variants of the ex joke that doesn't count as a fucking rape accusation. Are you fucking kidding me? This guy pulled that shit out of his ass. No accusation, none. Sorry, bro. That's not the same fucking thing. Again, should be a massive red flag to anybody that understands anything about trans people at all, because it's not literally what it is, is you have trans people that identify as animals as an aesthetic. They themselves will say, of course, I'm not actually a fucking deer. Of course, I'm not actually a fucking turtle. I just like embody the aesthetic. Cool. But when trans women identify as women, they are literally fucking women. They're not taking on the aesthetic of a woman. That's literally true. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Because a woman isn't a definable single object. It's a construct. Yes. Are you fucking for real? A woman isn't a single definable object. He does not understand even a little bit of gen like even a little bit of gender theory. Not even a little. Not even a little. They are a woman because a because a woman is a is a construct.
and you can declare being that construct. Yeah, I want to find the turtle person he hates. Yes, and the whole joke, yes, uh, just to be clear, so that we're clear on all these goddamn claims, Bakemano Katamari says, didn't people start calling him Rapesony because of his weird rape cage analogy? Yes. Yes. It was, that's where he got the name was because of the rape cage analogy. Just so you all know. So, once again, we have another example of, of a DG jeer making shit up, saying it boldly and proudly while being a dumb fuck. Here we go. We've gone full circle transphobic the right this is an entirely different fucking category okay when it, when it, you know a, a trans person identifies as a trans woman they're a fucking woman not the aesthetics of a woman but when you identify as a fuck and when a doe or a demon mama identifies as a doe or a demon mama they are a doe or a demon mama simple as that fucking turtle you just like the fucking color like the, the green that's that's what you fucking like i don't know and you wear a fucking turtle shell around all right that's what you fucking do your larp is tmnt coming out of the fucking sewer sewer socialism type beat that wait does he think this is funny does he think this rant is funny like this is boring this isn't even like there's no jokes in here but i'm the bad faith one guys i'm the bad faith one that's what you fucking do all right a god, I don't know. So many fucking cringe ass fucking memes, dude. It's like that should uh, it's be a cringe again. There's red a cringe. flag that these are two entirely different fucking concepts, but nobody cares. Whatever, dude. Oh my god, I'll bring one. Okay. Oh, Whew, it's gonna be good. I got some good shit. All right. We got a good meme going on here. <laughs> soy mad. Literally soy mad. Is it the same case as with the dear Twitch lady? Just clarify. Yeah, I truly, I have yet to see any trans person who identifies with an animal that has stated overtly, I truly and 100% believe that I am a deer. That is literally a misnomer. They just like the aesthetics of like deers. That's what they do. They just like the aesthetics and they vibe with the aesthetics. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That's it. Okay. But like so? the same is not said for trans men, trans women, non-binary. You are non-binary. Yes, it is. This is how you know he's never read any gender theory. He's never paid attention to anybody who's ever thought about gender in his entire life. Once again, I will repeat myself once again. If you just, if you say you are non-binary, you are non-binary. Non-binary is a construct. This is, this is straight up cisplaining. Does he think that non-binary is like a thing that, that exists outside of our minds? Gender exists in our minds. Non-binary is a construct. Woman is a construct. Man is a construct. Somebody who is a man or a woman or non-binary of any type. Non-binary isn't a third gender. It's a catch-all term for many different types of gender expression. They are that thing because they can declare themselves to be that thing. And that's how identity works. You get to declare it yourself because you're the only you in the world. That's true for trans women, trans men, non-binary people of all types. It is the same rules for all of them. He just does not grasp them. And so he's cisplaining. It's really funny. Just hilarious. Not the aesthetics. There is no aesthetics. You physically are that entity, that categorization. That's what you are. So what he's doing here is called a gender essentialism. He is saying you're a woman because you have tits, because you have a physical female form. So what he's saying is, is that if you don't pass, you aren't really, you aren't actually a woman, is what he's saying here. He says he's tying the gender identity to a physical thing. Do you understand this? Do we understand what is being, what, can we follow this logic? Gender is tied to a physical representation. It's not about your aesthetic. It's not about your presentation. This is the logic that he is putting forward, and we are just taking his argument and laying it out in a line. But whatever. It is true scummy. <laughs> okay, that's a good of course question. it is. Of course, this is transmedicalism. <laughs> but they're the same right thing. They're the same thing. Yeah, we. Oh, whatever. Zan, I already said, I already told Cherry. I told Cherry that when you come here. So if they'd identify as a deer, you'd be like, nah, they, they'd have a mental, like, they, they have a mental affliction. If you want to oh! believe you're actually a deer. Here you have a mental affliction for sure. Here, 
I'm going to smoke you under the table. You are going to be crying by the time we're done. <laughs> You're going to be so high, you won't even know you have hands anymore. And I'm going to be sitting there laughing and going, <laughs> Next! Yeah! Let's get you fucking barfing! Come on! Blah! Yeah, that's right, bitch! Fucking green out! You're a green. All right, let's get let's get back to the silliness. <laughs> I remember that vermin. <laughs> I, didn't he try to stream during that? Right, and I think that this is a pretty bad thing to do because it's a very large claim. I wouldn't give a fuck if what she said. I don't understand you know, those way, pronouns. Sucks at the you know Dyson Sphere program game. I, mm -hmm. I'd be like, okay, I just walk over. But the problem is, this is a very serious accusation of transphobia. This is. Well, this he, is she, like, did you say that she said Riley too, or like? Yeah, she literally said Riley and Destiny were speculating as to whether or not I thought enough about gender. I didn't hear Riley in that. Was so Riley in that? Now they're afraid. Oh no, Riley was being radical. She was, yeah. Okay, so maybe. And Riley's not really on. So she's not speaking in the clip at all. Is there a Riley version of this? Maybe that we should. I should be watching instead, so I can see. Like, what did, difference did does Riley it make? Uh, I think I remember what what is happening. I think um, I think Demon Mama stated. I'm misremembering this. I feel like I need to go back through this. I think it was like Demon Mama stated that Riley and Destiny speculated whether or not. True. I have enough. I, I don't forget. I I fucking forget. Sure, One hundred trans people faces. will be the uh, death of what? their movement, not the fucking gropers or other chuds. No shots. Nah, absolutely not. It's because the, 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 I, I truly believe these neo, the people running with the neo pronouns and shit like that. Somebody just donoed. These trans people are going to be death up to their own movement, not the neos or the groipers. Let's like, continue. If you're like somebody who's good faith, like looking at this shit, you're going to notice that like there are plenty of trans people that do not believe in this neo pronoun nonsense. And, like, so, no, I, I think it's 100% going to be. I mean, we're literally talking about how I cannot make fun of these neo-pronoun people because right-wingers, groipers, and shit like that will co-opt that message to be anti-trans, right? That was the reason why I didn't put, like, my pronouns are the N-word. If you believe in neo-pronouns, you Of course, this is what it. we were doing before. But if you don't believe in neo-pronouns, just call me he, him, right? The whole reason why I'm not doing that is because of, like, right-wing conservative shits. And that's, like, a whole thing. I, I, so I'm gonna reject You can that. see me peeking out here. Uh, Epi, thank you for the gifted sub. What difference does it make to you? I, I've been turning them off because we've been trying me. to focus. And it's really, really hard to sort what's going on anyway. The most important thing in the movement is to test the purity of their members. Maximalism well, stream. To a degree. Maximalism Some people stream, go baby. way too far with it. But yeah, of course, if you don't disseminate who is in your movement versus who is not, then you're gonna get terrible people and who don't represent your shit. Yeah, do you mean like me? You mean like okay, me? You know what? Because I don't know you. So? And you you feel you, some type dude. of way about me, and that wait, wait, doesn't wait, make wait. much sense. I don't I don't ignore I don't this. Know you. There you go. Ignore it. Hey, that's helpful actually. Cuz Cherry isn't paying attention to it. Nobody's paying attention to it, so ignore it. True. You outside of having talked to you like two times. So should I just disrespect your pronouns? You hear about Holy the Virgin shit. Fest story? This is so embarrassing. Um this somebody like linked me a video I never got through to me yeah i know she's talking to a chatter thank you thank you hunko love thank you i appreciate that i appreciate you coming in here to tell me how to be a fucking streamer thanks thanks bro what helpful advice yeah i don't think we should make fun of people for neo pronouns either um but um i'll be damned if i'm not about to make fun of somebody who's calling me transphobic for not using neo pronouns, like fuck you. I'll make fun of you. Banger clips. We can that's agree your to game. disagree, but if good. you're gonna Banger say clip. that, like, if you're gonna co-opt the word transphobia there, so that way you can call yourself a turtle, like, that's hey, not you're about to get slam dunked on. What are you fucking talking about, dude? What are you talking about? Your what? half shell's about to get popped. Not, dude. What the fuck? This is so weird. Supporting transphobia is violence. Where? where Who's this from? Samples uh, of uh, Dima Mama's Twitch chat. Nice, Mighty Bomb Jack. This is uh, so. I want to actually because this actually really displays the. I feel the like, uh, perhaps. Oh, fuck off. Displays the logical format quite a bit. Okay. So like, let's uh, let's so take a look. Let's take a bit of a here? dive. Okay. We, nobody can see it. Whoop. Okay. okay. So. So this is a random person. Someone so this is somebody named Glam Pixie who was apparently in my chat. Which I don't know. I think this is. I think this is kind of fair. Not using someone's pronouns intentionally is transphobia. Yeah. Uh, pronouns is transphobia, period. Yeah, gotta be sub. Supporting I appreciate trans, this. Uh, yeah, they're right. Uh, foes is violence. I agree. Okay. This, if we apply this to neo-pronouns, 
What is, uh, I don't know if this person would, so I'm not going to throw out this person for this because they haven't made any explicit uh, mention of Neo pronouns. But uh, let's assume that they did, right? Uh, okay. Because there's people in Demon Mama's chat who agree with this, including Neo pronouns. So not somebody u- using somebody's Neo pronouns is transphobia, okay? It Welcome back, transphobia. Sorry, I haven't Supporting been checking Twitch chat for a while, but I'm very sorry now, about that. Now, you have to make the argument, okay, so let's say all of these things are true. Why do I care? Why do I care? Right? You have not established a moral obligation for me to not commit to acts of violence. So why would I care if this fits this way? You need to create a moral True, obligation I that I not soon. commit to very late, phobia. At the same I time. I ought not commit to transphobia if I can otherwise avoid it. Right? That's what you need to do. Once you establish that, you need to establish that transphobia, right? Why that transphobia, why that violence is necessarily meets yeah, the, I saw that uh, violence obligation, broker. the moral you, you're, obligation. You're all good in Once my you book. You're that, all good you're going to realize book. neo pronouns are garbage and should never be used as an actual argument for transphobia. Thank you. Wow, what an incredible wait, wait, what an incredible argument. This is so stupid. Uh, do I need to even treat this with? I shouldn't treat this with any respect at all. Doug, you're the person who should explain first. You lo- you lose respect for me when I refuse to respect you. Well, it yeah. sounds like your respect. See the weird things that Vermin was calling Cherry. Yeah, oh, Jesus Christ, man. She okay. Oh, this person is very dramatic. Comes first. What? It's very weird. That sounds no. That's called reciprocal. Um, I, I take it no, like no, no, a... watch this. Okay, ready? Here's how. Here's how normal. Here's how. Here's how. Here's how humans making aren't... fun of their gender system, which I don't think is uh, something you should do. I just wanted to say that though. Sure, not father. I can agree with you. I can agree with you. I think because I disagree with hey, their gender system. <laughs> In his chat right here. Hold on. Can we show this? I can show this. Here we can two can play this game. Are you guys ready? I'm gonna show you something wild. Watch this. Ready? I'm going to show you something wild. Want to see something? What do we see right here, everybody? Are we ready? Here we go. Boop, 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 ba da ba da ba da 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 ba 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 da ba da ba da ba ba da ba da ba There we go. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Damn, always seems to happen, doesn't it? Always seems to work out like that, doesn't it? System, me going after their gender system and making fun of them, if I believe it doesn't meet logical merit, isn't really something that is, like, super good for me to do. Um, I just consider this to be the same thing as me going at the systems of, like, oh, are you a fan of Batman? Oh, are you a fan of this? It's the same exact thing. I consider it the same exact thing. They call it gender. It's not gender, um, in my opinion. I gotta get and more beanies because people like I feel like, like I can logically look. suss that out. But yeah, there you go. Sock dems. Here's how humans that. that or, aren't... Sorry, it's not the moral equivalent of like the other genders to the point where in which it's the same exact thing is like the Marvel versus DC nonsense. So I don't really have to care about Literally making fun of it. But in, I agree we probably shouldn't because other people don't see it that way. And unironically, we are in a society. Yeah, this is sock I think he's Ready? Been I'm going to do this. Here we go. We're going to do a little role play together. You have a good Thank one, you. A. Clay. Here we go. This is the fun part. We do a little role play. Here we go. Nya. Nya. Hello. My name is Nya. And my pronouns are she, her. What's up, Nia? My pronouns are it, it's, and I go by the name Demon Mama. Sounds cool. There's no way she does this for the entire bit. Watch. Nia, sounds cool. Now you introduce a sock dem into it. How do I do the sock dem? How do I, want me, want me to put the cat ears over the beanie? Okay, sure. You know what? Here, you get your wish. This is great. This is the best part, everybody. We're going to do cat ear stream. This is a, okay, this is a review a of last night or How, whatever. When you last add a sock dem into the mix. Oh, no. When you add a sock dem into the mix, it's just like, it's just like, uh, hi, my name is, is, is suffering sock dem, suffering suckatash sock dem, one, 1776. And my name, um, and my pronouns are he, him. And then Nya goes, Nya, my pronouns 
or she, her? And they go, why? You don't look like a she, her. Why should I respect your pronoun? Respect my pronouns. Mine are normal. Why are yours not normal? You should, you should, sh aren't you a cat? Aren't you a fucking cat? Aren't you a fucking cat? Why are you a cat? Tell me why you're a cat. What's in your pants? What's in your pants? Tell me about yourself. Give me your state ID. I need to know if that's your name. It's so fucking boomer. Yeah, I'm being- Is she confusing like a Sockdom with a actual like conservative or? I, I don't know, dude. What was your argument? Are you- is she- is she confusing a Sockdom for a conservative? And then in this video, you literally say that the reason you don't respect people's gender is because it's cringe. I- I find this so validating. This is a validating- this is a validating point of this video. I'm just gonna take a minute and just bask in this. Didn't I say, at the very beginning of this, that he was using conservative logic, and I was like, are, are, are you getting the sock dem confused with the conservatives? Nope, I'm not at all. You two do the same fucking shit. <sighs> you, you, all of you late, late imps, all of you late night imps, you guys, are on for a special treat because this 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 thing has been incredible huh uh i'll eat in a i'll eat in a bit yeah i'm gonna finish this thing and then i'll come out and eat yeah because i don't want to eat noodles on stream that's annoying let's continue i feel like it's a bit much the late night for conservatives great. like a bit of a caricature but okay Being a little dramatic here but come on what the fuck Little dank, by the way. Little, what the little fuck bit is up dank. with people? It's mutual respect. Pronouns are not that fucking... Okay, using a pronoun is a very minor effort. You get your pronouns used the way you want all the fucking time. Oh my fucking god. Give this was so ID worth it. So that I can make sure that the state has approved that you're one of the five approved genders by the state. God fucking damn. Social fascist unironically? Why the fuck not? Okay, look. Okay. I don't want to be stupid, but the sock, the Twitter sock dems are morons as a, as a group. They literally don't understand what they advocate for, and they're too afraid to confront the fact that they actually just believe that the state should have the right to crack your skull if you're not normal. And by the way, that's not even, this is the funny thing is that's not all sock dems. I have met many social Democrats. I've met social Democrats here in person who are like, who work what? with like DSA and socialist alternative, you know, the trot organization. And they're not like this. Twitter sock dems, straight up, they're just like, yeah, if you're not normal, we should be able to use uh, eugenics to get rid of you. That's a good thing. What? They say that shit. Fucking, yep. they say that shit. Yep, and we all got the receipts. He's gonna act surprised. He's gonna act surprised, but we know. We've all seen the clips. We've seen these ones, and these people, I bet that he follows them. I bet he fucking follows them. I bet they're mutuals. I bet they fucking hang out. We know. We fucking know. We fucking know. Watch, he's gonna act all surprised, but we all know. Don't we? And retweet that shit. It's fucking dumb. What? Where? I fucking hate it. It's so stupid. They're just little, they're little Where? normal cucks. Wait, yeah, isn't Xander Hole a sock dem? Stand up for yourself, dude. What the fuck? PSA is not socialist. They're democratic socialist. They're dem sock, and they end up leaning social democrat. Let's be real. Mutual thing. Based. I just don't understand why you are valued more than me. What? Oh my god, cis fragility. Oh my fucking god. I'm, I'm cringing. I'm fucking cringing. I don't- where's the eugenics that we're arguing for? I'm really curious of where the eugenics is. Like, that's a pretty bold claim. Hey, thank you so much, Sepsin. Who am I saying? Yeah, the like, room looks uh, awesome. Uh, that's pretty, pretty um, so Riley did a response on stream, if that's what you mean. Oh no, the Destin, the, her talk with Destiny, did she upload that stuff? Is oh, there like no, a um, version where we can see her? It's your identity. I don't yeah, understand yeah, your identity thoughts. though. Yeah. Ah, um, interesting. Violent Smoker here says, yeah, it's my identity. The impetus is on you to respect that. I don't know you, I don't understand your identity. So if you don't understand something, then that means you don't have to treat them with respect. Again, normal cucks. You did? Curing you autism is eugenics? Well... I don't even know, like, how you'd go about doing that, and one, and a lot of Sockdoms agree that, like, you could just make society more viable for people with autism, and that'd be based. I don't see very many- Hmm, hmm. Wanna see something else, everybody? Watch, let's do this again. Man, I'm really loving this. I'm actually just having a fun time taking a chill, a chill stroll through this guy's Sockism, motherfucking chat. Watch this shit. Saying, yeah, we should- I, I think there's more-
Hold on, watch. Let's just zoom in real quick. Ready? Here we go. Wait. Oh no, there's two. How do I? Oh no. His, his, hold on. How do I? Oh no. Why? Why is it like this? There's two. It's, he's overlapped it. Oh god damn it. But it's okay. Here. Let's take a look at it real quick. Okay, ready? I understand what a deer is. So yeah, I don't have to respect it. Irrelevant. Please do the n-word pronoun. Violent smoker is insane. And then somebody Pepe posting about doing eugenics. Right here. Here we go. Curing autism is eugenics. They're being correct, which is good. Just saying. You know, we just got a couple little, you know, just a couple. We do a little trolling. We do a little eugenics. Hee hee. Tee hee. We, we love the sock dems. We love the social fascists, don't we? Like a house Democrat angle. Like we should cure, we should cure all mental illness. Right? I'm pretty sure that's more of a house dem thing than a sock dem thing. I think a lot of sock dems are like, yeah, everything should be a little bit more accommodating for like these people. Sure. Matt, uh, John, in my chat. Um, does it just satisfy you if my respect for your identity comes from ignorance and I just don't? It's like. Say it with I these people what the difference between gender and personality is. I have. They don't have a difference, but. Somebody tells you, hey. Say it with your chest. Come on, say it with your chest. I don't get you. You're not normal. Say it with your chest. I'm Beyonce, and I know they're not Beyonce. Just because you don't understand a social concept doesn't mean that, like, you're a piece of shit. Like, this is such a weird thing to do. Like, oh, I gotta put if the chat back on. Demon yeah. Mama's running with this because somebody doesn't want to, like, even if we take Cherry's, let's take Cherry's position and assume she knows absolutely nothing about trans people in general, right? Um, somebody comes up to her with a neo pronoun and she's like, I'm not going to address you that way because I don't really know what that is. I'm not really, yeah, I don't really know what that, that is. Like, is really the best response going to be to shit on her relentlessly? Or maybe go like, okay, let Wait. Hold on a second. Notice what he's doing here. No one shitted on Cherry relentlessly. No one. Violent Smoker simply said, again, all of this is in the VOD. If anybody even cares about the truth at all, Violent Smoker said, I just think you're, I just think you're disrespectful for not respecting my identity. That is all that Violent Smoker said. And now he's freaking out, AKA double cis fragility. Performative cis fragility. Let me explain to you how this works. We know what actually happened. Now let's turn it into an hour and 20 minutes of content. Fuck it. Beyonce, so I'm just like, okay, hi, Beyonce. Is that. What? Oh, we got an attack helicopter. Fuck you. Oh, we got the attack helicopter. Fuck you. Why is she saying. She literally. She literally says that the attack helicopter meme is okay. She said the attack. No, I do not. Give me the clip, bitch. Give me the clip, bitch. Attack helicopter meme is okay. I hate it when people who like advocate for neo are like, we got the attack helicopter. You said it. Literally. This guy is you such a dumb You said the shit. attack helicopter meme. It's logically consistent with the position. If I can identify as a table, I can identify as an attack helicopter. The problem is, right, like, we all on the left thought we would never get to this absolutely ridiculous point. Until we fucking did. We were like, oh, yeah, you know what? We're just, you know, we're going to be actual, reasonable, rational people. And then it got to the... Chat over here says, uh, a bunch of Pepe faces, and then... Didn't she defend being able to attack, to identify as attack helicopter? Saying you're a deer is literally the attack helicopter meme. She can't say that when she said it's fine. I'd like to see that, first of all. I think you'll be surprised by what I actually said about it. Then we have another one in chat that says, I think we should refer to all men as she and her and bitch just to see how they like it. Have these people ever made an argument against the ha attack helicopter? Somebody else says, why is it okay to disrespect my attack helicopter? 
Then we have, please, Demon Mama is insane. Dude, this guy's community Wait, blows. Well, you know what? Actually, identifying as an attack helicopter, uh, if you don't actually truly believe you're an attack helicopter, but you just, like, identify with, like, being a cool helicopter, then you... I mean, yeah, I guess you could. It's like, we just, listen, we, we failed, okay? This is a failed project, all right? The, the American experiment was a failure. Sounds a lot like a, why don't you just call me a degenerate, dude? Oh, no. People with neo pronouns, we failed. Humanity has failed. Why don't you just call me a degenerate, dude? Just do it. Dude, just come on. Fucking call me a degenerate already. Get it off your chest. Come on, get it out of your system, bro. Come on. Oh, fuck you. What if you what if you met somebody whose name was just Beyonce? What the fuck is this argument? This is just bargain basement. This is bargain basement. I heard Destiny say it once. Let me repeat it. And but I didn't remember everything. A mockery? I'm not going to do that to you. <sighs> if I don't understand something, I'm not going to mock you and pretend like I understand it. I'm not going to lie to you. What? Gonna... This is so smug. I L literally literally guys hold on i'm gonna rewind this i am get this what what this person just said what what this person just said is i am not i am doing you a favor by misgendering you i am doing i am doing you a favor Ow. Bruh. How, how you have, uh, can you dm that to me for tricks there's no way i can remember Jesus, that it's a little dank there yeah Bruh. Hey, awesome. is she gonna Wait. explain it Yes. Because I disagree. I see no way you can construe it in that way. That's literally what happened. Like, children We're loves and just- Oh like, my god! You gotta be you, kidding that's me like right pandering. now. Yeah, that's that's mainly so that and that's another issue too because we haven't even talked about Riley in that situation. I didn't even realize that. Um, you Thank know, you. Into that as you may, I didn't even realize that. But yeah, she threw Riley into there when talking about speculating about the whether or not she had done enough thinking about her gender in order to be able to. Train. Yes, I did. By the way, just just to respond to what our relevant is saying here. Yes, I did because Riley sat there and didn't push back at all, and then went on to agree with Destiny on it. Hey, here we go. Here's here's the person who's been in his chat this entire time saying, "I wonder if any trans women are highly closeted straight men." That's, do you know what that means, right? Highly closeted straight men, meaning that they're trans because they want to get closer to women. Huh. Interesting. Nice. Everything. So yes, absolutely, Riley gets thrown in there. Absolutely. <laughs> Wait, she doubled down on that? Oh my god, that's actually transphobic! What the fuck?! Holy shit! Oh my god! That's so transphobic! What the fuck?! Okay, whatever. What the fuck ever? Okay, so for anybody who doesn't know, my big criticism of Demon Mama was that she was speculating as to whether or not Riley had done enough thinking to tra about her gender to transition. Okay? Because- I didn't- I never said that. What? Destiny said that about me, you moron. Destiny said that about me on a show with RGR, caught in fucking 4K, we have it. It is the literal opposite of what happened. You fucking dumbass. You absolutely fucking dishonest piece of shit. This is exactly the fucking shit I'm motherfucking talking about. These people are straight up this is like this is like almost gaslighting tier i'm dead serious it's they tell you that what was done to you you did to somebody else what is on video being done to you was done by you to someone else this is yeah this is gonna sound uh, i'm gonna bite the bullet here because your fucking community hates me anyway um and this might sound transphobic it sometimes when i listen to her talk i can't tell if she's honestly engaging with your question 
or if she genuinely hasn't thought about these concepts before. Now, this might just be me as a cis person. I would imagine that anybody that's like going through hormone therapy um, to transition, I would imagine has spent like a great deal of time reflecting on who they feel they are inside. So when you ask questions about like, do you think that you were lying to yourself when you were like internally felt like a man or a woman or whatever, it's really surprising to me to hear that there might be a trans person that talks about this advocacy is, you know, trying to do hormone therapy that hasn't ever engaged with that question before. That seems like a pretty internal or that seems like a pretty important yeah. question of identity that yeah that's really strange to me no and that's essentially the way that i see it i mean i hate these people i hate these people these people are so dishonest they bring nothing good to our motherfucking space these dgg idiots they literally bring nothing except for to lie and harass people. 10 motherfucking months of them doing exactly this. Just making shit up. Or worse, literally telling you that you did what was done to you. They do it to Doe. They do it to me. They do it to anybody who slightly pisses off their fucking stupid daddy. It's so bad. This shit is so fucking bad. How can you fuck that up? How can you go? How can you be seven layers deep reacting to me and never verify and say something that stupid, that motherfucking wrong? It's infuriating. It's mind bending. Do you not understand why I hate these people? Do you fuckers not understand this? How do you people live with yourself? How do DGGers live with themselves? Is it the same way that Fox News people live with themselves? Is that what it is? Is it Newsmax? Is it the same level of just like fucking b turning off your brain and your and your soul? Idiots. Oh my God, I hate these people so much. Riley had the audacity, had the girl to be able to go on Destiny's side of the argument. And by that, I mean, hold her own position that Destiny later weighed in and like, yeah, you know what? Actually, I agree with Riley. So Riley, of her own accord, choosing a position, then Destiny agreeing with Riley, and then Demon Mama's like, look, uh, 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 Riley stole the position from Destiny, even though that's not at all what happened. And Riley stole the position from Destiny. She clearly hasn't done enough thinking about her gender. I don't know if she's done enough thinking about her gender to transition. That is what Destiny said about me. He is doing it again. No, I know. I know exactly. I know exactly what the fuck we're going to title this video. Which is that destiny.gg is a vortex of lies and a den of liars. Holy fuck. Right now, you all just witnessed this guy on fucking his show fucking straight up say that I did what was done to me. Dude, irrelevant, this guy is a scumbag. Just 100%. 100 through and through. And look at how much we've sat through. It's all fucking on video. I don't. He doesn't have much to lose anyway. Yeah, it's been old nuts, but look. Look who's talking about it. All of these people are still fucking talking about this shit. So what? You all think that I don't have the right to respond when people do this shit? You don't think I have a right to motherfucking respond when this motherfucker goes and has the audacity to claim that I did what was done to me? A, a fact that is on video? It's been almost a year of this fucking shit. I've had enough of these motherfuckers. I really have.